Hi I'm David and welcome to Leisure Bit and today we're going to be having a look at a tyre inflator to blow the tyres up on the van. So let's go and take a look. So in the box you get the tyre inflator itself, see it there, you get the hose for blowing up the tyres, that end attaches into here and the other end attaches to your regular tyre valves. It also comes with a USB-C charging cable so you charge it up via USB-C so perfect for in the van where you can plug it in and charge it up in one of the USB sockets. It also comes with a series of adapters there so you've got ones for blowing up balls or blowing up inflatable whatever's uh, with it so you can just connect it up and get it inflating. It also comes with a set of instructions I've not used these yet um, there you go with the information on on it and it additionally comes with this handy little pouch to keep it in. Now I thought it would be really useful to keep one of these in the van and it kind of triggered me after fitting the tyre pressure monitors. If you haven't seen the video on that one, do check that one out because that kind of proactively keeps an eye on your tyres. And what this does, it's kind of part B of the solution if that makes sense. It allows you to inflate the tyres if any of them have gone down. Because it's, it's pointless kind of being notified you've got a slow puncture or something and not having a means of blowing it up. So here's the solution. You can obviously use a foot pump um, and there's other types of these. Um, this is just one I saw, it had decent reviews on it and so far it's been pretty good. Price point wise, uh, this particular one I got in the Amazon Prime deals um, so I paid under £40 for it, just over 30 actually. Um, but the, the, the current price is about £50 but there is there are discounts and vouchers available off it um, or there certainly was when I, I've looked today um, and other types run at a similar kind of price point uh, but this one seems to do the job uh, comes with all the bits and pieces you need uh, we'll see how it goes you know it's always good to look at these in a couple of years time check they're still working uh, the previous one I had conked out, which was like a tubular one, uh, a little bit thinner but longer than this, and that just stopped working. So a lot of them seem to be similar to that. And when things stop working and conk out, I tend to be put off getting the same thing again. So that's why I went for this, a little bit different. Um, seems pretty well made and stores no problem. So this one is the Rye Seab Cordless and Strong Tire Inflator Portable Air Compressor Pump with 6000 milliamp hour battery for car tire. Fast inflate 150 psi. So that's the maximum pressure it will inflate up to. Given the van tire's maximum pressure is 79 psi, that works perfectly with plenty to spare. It also has a LED light um, on it as well which you may have spotted on the end here, it's there and what we can do, we can turn the LED light on as well, look at that. And you turn the LED light on by simply holding down the bottom button there uh, which you can use to rotate around different settings. We want to be on PSI but you can obviously have it in bar if you prefer to work in bar or KPA and kilograms per centimetre cubed so we'll work on PSI personally I find it the simplest one because we know we need it to go to 79 and then we can just set that and away we go There we go, 79 PSI. So let's see how we put it together. So the first thing we do is we attach the, I'm trying to ding that on there, make a racket. We attach it on here 
and we screw it nice and tightly like so and I've pre what you should also do is charge it up until it's fully charged as well on receipt but we've already done that and it makes a bit of a racket we choose the we've got some different options there for bike car that sort of thing we're going to choose the one for for the car and then we're going to increase that till we get to 70 79 which is the right pressure and then to start it off obviously it helps if you've got it plugged into the tire and then the air actually goes somewhere so let's go and give it a go now pop it in its little pouch to take it out and um, to switch it off you just hold the power button down and it will go off like so um, but in, in essence that's it so all drops into this little bag that goes in there we can tuck the hose in if we want to we can leave the hose on or we can disconnect it uh, we can put our attachments in and we'll put our usb cable in and we'll put the instructions in in case we need to refer to those in the future so let's go out and let's put some air in the tires right let's take this off and pop some air in The alarm's going off in the van now saying we've got a flat tyre. So we'll just take the nut off here before doing it just so we can get the the valve on. That's somewhere safe. Pop that on. And then we'll press go. So there we are, that's just blown up and it's stopped. I'll just remove the cap and then we'll put our tyre pressure sensor back on again. Just put the, the back stop on. And then pop the... There we go, it's stopped beeping now, it's happy again. Just tighten up the nut at the back. Make sure that's super tight. And then we'll just pull the protective cover back over it. Keep it all nice and watertight. There we go, all done. And we can turn that off. And that's just topped up worth noting that this gets a little bit warm when it's in use and you probably don't want to inflate everything back to back so just give it a little bit of time to cool pretty much standard with all of these um, they do warm up so need a bit of a cooling period after you've done a couple of tyres done the key benefits of this are you're not trailing a big long cord around it, it works like that um, there's other similar ones to this, so uh, this isn't by any way a specific product endorsement. It's more a suggestion on what you might want to think about that might save you some effort when you need um, to use it. Obviously, you can go to the garage and use their facilities to blow up tyres, but sometimes there isn't a garage there, and I just thought this was handy. I can tuck this away somewhere out the way when... I don't need it but somewhere I can get access to it when I do need it so um, something you can tuck in a corner somewhere until you need it but remember where you put it took me half an hour to find this just to go through it that's pretty much it it does what it says on the tin or it does what it says in the advert which is it inflates tires and it seems to have no problem whatsoever blowing up the van tires just be careful if you buy with the one you buy to make sure it's got sufficient power to blow up the van tires which on this particular van you, you probably want a compressor that does at least at least 100 psi to give you some headroom this does 150 so we're only taking it to about half its maximum capacity just over uh, when we
when we blow the tyres up. So that's the tyre inflator which is really handy to keep in your van and keep charged up of course in case you need it. Thank you for watching, hope you found that useful and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!